So welcome to the companion video for our recent intro to vCluster tutorial vlog. We're going to walk through a demo of the install real quick. So let's go and take a look at the terminal. So what do we need to do first? We need to install vCluster and we're going to do that with brew because we're using a Mac. Let's go ahead and get started. So brew install vCluster. Then we'll create a virtual cluster using the vCluster command line tool. Once it's been created, our kubectl context will switch over to the new cluster. So let's do that next. So vCluster create my vCluster. And this is going to run in port forward. So we're just going to show this for the uh, the demo. But ideally, you'd set up ingress or something like that so that you can actually access it over that. So let's wait for the virtual cluster to come up. Some magic. All right, now our cluster's up and it's forwarding. Let's go ahead and interact with the clusters. Let's go ahead and see what namespaces are inside of our virtual cluster to begin with. That way we can show differentiation between the virtual cluster and the base cluster. All right, so we can see there's only four namespaces. So there's not much going on here. Whereas our base cluster has got a lot more stuff running. So now we'll go ahead and create an Nginx namespace and then de a deployment to show how the pods run in a virtual cluster. So we're creating a namespace for Nginx. And then after that, we'll create the deployment. Let's see what pods are running in the Nginx namespace now. All right, cool. So we've got two pods running within the Nginx namespace on our virtual cluster. Let's go ahead and stop port forwarding, and then let's see what's actually running on our base cluster. Let's go over here. All right, we're gonna disconnect from our virtual cluster. Now, if we go back over here, what we're gonna do is take a look at what namespaces are within our base cluster. So we'll get namespaces, and our context is now the base cluster again. All right, so we've got a bunch more namespaces here because this is our base cluster. We've got more CRDs and different things installed. And we can see that our vcluster, my vcluster is one of those namespaces, and that's the actual virtual cluster we just created. So the pods are still running, but they're scoped to vcluster, my vcluster namespace on the base cluster. So let's go ahead and check on the pods and see what's running. All right, so we're, we're going to do kubectl get pods in the namespace vcluster, my vcluster. So they're still running there. You can see my vcluster, core DNS, nginx, uh, both pods. Let's say we want to pause our virtual cluster or put it to sleep in case we're not using it. So what we can do is we can list out our virtual clusters first, get the name of the virtual cluster. And then after that, what we can do is we can pause it. So what pausing is gonna do is it's gonna scale everything to zero. So we're scaling down the stateful set for vcluster, my vcluster. All right, it's done. Now all the pods have also scaled to zero. So what we can do is we can get the pods that are running there and there shouldn't be anything running anymore. When we're ready to use it again, we can go ahead and resume it, and then everything should come back up and all the pods will be there again. All right, so everything's resumed. And now it's time to delete everything, you know, because these environments are ephemeral. We don't really need it. We're just, we're just testing around. So let's go ahead and delete this, and that'll actually conclude the demo. All right, everything's deleted. So I hope you enjoyed this quick demo. If you have any questions, make sure you join us on Slack at slack.loft.sh. Or if you have any interesting use cases that you want to talk about, go ahead and join us and let us know about vCluster, DevSpace, any of the projects that are uh, maintained by Loft.